Joining me this week on the Deep Slant one-on-one -on -one presented by Xfinity, it's cornerback Keon Cross. And Keon, I'm so glad to have you on the last Deep Slant of the 2020 year because especially after the season, things have been so crazy, so up and down, but you have just been a real pleasure to watch on the field this year. How has this season felt for you? I know it's year three. I know it's not the outcome of the Texans record that you wanted, but what about for you personally? How has this season felt for you? Um... You know, first off, it's always a blessing just to play an entire NFL season. Um, that's a hard part in itself, uh, just to get through every game. But, um, you know, I've just been, you know, taking the opportunities I've been given, um, along with the work I've put in uh, while I was waiting for the opportunity. Um, so I think that's what most people kind of, they fail to realize that, you know, opportunities don't just come. you got to wait for them and wait for them. But in that process, you got to work for it work for and continue to work and that's what I was doing so when I did get my opportunity I tried to make the best of it so when I got there uh, I can not only do well for my teammates and myself but I can put on the show for the, uh, for the fans. Yeah Romeo Cornell said that he said that you have gotten better and better every single week you you may have made some mistakes but you always learn from them and you make the most of your opportunities you lead the Texans and special teams tackles you had four passes defensed in that Bengals game. It seems like every week you're sort of setting a new career high for yourself. Uh, so let's start with, let's start with that Bengals game because I feel like going up against AJ Green, that had to have been a tall task for you. What was that like for you? And, and what really worked for your game uh, in, in facing a guy like Green? Um, honestly, I uh, just do my film study. I think that's a really big uh, film study and try to take what coach say from the film study to the practice field um, all week, and then you try to correlate uh, formations, you try to co correlate uh, different route uh, concepts from what you see from practice to the game. So uh, I just try to catch uh, catch jumps on receivers, uh, look at releases, look at different things of footwork. Um, and then, you know, the cornerback position is all about the mastery of the eyes. How good are your eyes? How good are your feet? How good are your hands? And um, as you know, like some mistakes like the uh, – yeah, I played some good coverage on him, but like the, the stop and go, um, like on that play, I was definitely thinking he was going to do a curl. I was going to jump and try to pick six it. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's a game of mastering the eye. So uh, like I say, it wasn't, you know, A.J. Green's a great receiver, and uh, I got much respect for that guy. And uh, at the end of the day, um, I like challenges. I love challenges, and uh, I'm going to accept them, whether it's A.J. Green, it could be, you know, uh, Antonio Brown, it could be, you know, Stephon Diggs, whoever it may be. Um, I'm going to accept the challenge because that's the kind of competitor I am. Um, I compete um, when I'm in a white, and uh, my standard for myself is out of this world. You know, that game in Cincinnati for me was that was a decent game. Um, I like the things that I'm doing, but I always look for room for improvement. So, you know, the things that you're good at for me, it's my philosophy. The things that I'm good at, I don't harp on it a lot. I look on the, look at the things that I can work on and improve on. And that's why I guess coach say I not correct my mistakes, uh, my mistakes, and that's what I try to do. Yeah, four passes defensed. I mean, that's a record. No Texans defenders done that since week 17 of the 2015 season to have at least four passes defensed in a game, which you had against the Bengals. We saw you mic'd up a few weeks ago as well against the Colts. <laughs> um, so a little bit of your personality coming yeah. out on the field. Is that what you're really like on, on the field? Um, just yes, a lot of talk, a lot Sunday. of energy. Every single Sunday. Uh, like I said, um, you know, you got to think of a guy like myself. I was always told, oh, you're too small or, you know, uh, you know, you won't make it to the NFL because of this. You come from a D1 AA school. Nobody knows about you. And it's just things like that that you just keep in mind. And, um, you know, I have, I have some coaches tell me, like, you know, you know, I wasn't a cornerback. I was an NFL cornerback. And when I think of that stuff, it drives me. So when I'm on the field, especially on defense, we know what we can do on special teams. I get busy on special teams. When I get on the defense, my mindset flips like a whole nother switch on because at the end of the day, I'm out to prove why I should be on the field and why I deserve to be on the field and, I, and why I earn my right to be on the field um, on defense. And that's what I'm all about. And I'm going to make sure I show that with my play, not just my talk. I mean, you, you are persistent. I mean, you've come in and you've really made a name for yourself. You've waited for your opportunity. Now you're taking significant snaps. You're, you're starting on defense. You're playing on special teams. Was there somebody along the way, I mean, you, you mentioned the people that had said that you couldn't do it, but was there somebody along the way that really gave you the encouragement or, or sort of gave you that positive reinforcement that, yeah, you know what, you can, you can really make it in this league? Um, yeah, I mean, I had guys like uh, Michael Thomas. Um, 
you know, Mike T. I always say that's that's my guy. Uh, you know, it, when Bradley Roby, those guys was here. Even Will Fuller when he was here. Um, DeAndre Hopkins when he was here. Uh, you know, all those guys, J.J. Reed, Justin Reed, they, you know, they always just come and t- keep working, keep working, keep working, and um, your opportunity is going to come. And that's when I was – that's all I kept doing. And, you know, those guys kept, you know, whispering in my ear because at times you get frustrated and you're like, man, why am I not playing, you know. And uh, you, tr- you try to keep your head up and stay focused. But, like I said, I got great teammates. Um, you know, all of, all of us work hard. We work hard as hell, um, you know, despite what anybody say. We work hard. Nobody comes to try to lose every game. Um, and we just try to do our best to win uh, for the Texans. And, you know, there's some things that may not have went right this year. But at the end of the day, uh, we're a family. We stick together and we try to do everything that we can every Sunday to win. And uh, that's, that's what that's the main thing I think my teammates done for me. Just keep encouraging me, kept my head up. And uh, when I made plays in practice, we celebrated just like I was a starter. So that's what they're all about. Speaking of practice, I read somewhere that back in 2018, uh, when you were on scout team, you they asked you when you were at the Patriots um, to play the role of Deshaun Watson oh. in practice. Is that true? Is that a true story? That is a true story. I ran probably about seven reps in a row, I want to say, six or seven reps in a row, just scrambling like Deshaun. Uh, and I actually knew Deshaun before the NFL. Um he came up to Western one time and kind of threw to our wide outs and everything because his brother was out of uh, safety. So, um, yeah, we, I was like, dang, I know that guy. And they asked me to do it. I was like, oh, I'm about to do a lot of running today because this guy, he's <laughs> always called me. I think you can hear my mic dub. I was like, this guy's just a magician. Man. He's a magician. He's magical. <laughs> you were, yeah, and you're mic'd up when you're watching Deshaun on the field. You did say he's a magician. Would you, how was your impression of Deshaun? What would you rate out? Was it pretty you know magical? It, it, he's 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 one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Um, I mean, this guy, just from seeing his work ethic, uh, the guy studies. The guy comes every day to work. Uh, don't complain about anything, and you know he leads. And I think that's what you gotta look forward to when you look at a quarterback. You lead the leader of the team, uh, and then you can expect the expectation of his standard of going out every game and playing hard and keeping us in the game. Essentially, uh, we can expect that every week. And, you know, when you got a quarterback like that, you got a chance. And that's all we need is a chance. And, uh, like I said, I got much respect for that guy. Shout out to Deshaun, man. Uh, also, I ate at, ate at his uh, restaurant, Lefties. Got some good food. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a big fan of Deshaun's. You know who was a fan of yours is Anthony Weaver. He, were, he, he was asked about you. <laughs> And he's, he was like, I love that guy. I love Keon. He's got so much hustle. He's got so much energy. And then he also said, you're like a gnat. You know, oh, like wow. a little, like, I, I guess that he meant that as a compliment to oh, opposing nice, wide nice. receivers. Like you're in their face. Oh, see, dang, I get on his nerves. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. You know, I try uh, to what, do you, what do you think about when, he's, when you find out that he calls you a gnat? But, but in a loving, in the most loving way possible. Oh, I love it. That means, uh, you know, you're irritative. Uh, that means you can be disruptive. Um, and when you look at, like I said, when you look at the defensive back position, you know, everybody looking at it like, oh, he just got to play, you know, bomb through on him or whatever, 20 yards, whatever. And then, like, to me, that doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's about the next play. And I'm about limiting the receiver, not completely shutting him down, because I think that's impossible. I mean, these guys get paid millions of dollars. <laughs> uh, so I think, you know, you got to understand is, you know, those guys put on their, their pads as well as I do. So it's about limiting the receiver. You know, I can go a game where, like last game, you know, four receptions, I think like 64 yards, no touchdowns, it's a good game. T.Y. Hilton, no touchdowns, it's a good game. You know what I mean? A. Roberts from Chicago, it's a good game, no touchdowns. That's all I'm about. So at the end of the day, it's about being consistent, limiting your receivers. And that's, that's the net I try to be. Um, and if that it works within the scheme of our defense to help my teammates and us win. That's what I do. I don't try to do anything more, anything less. I try to help us win to the best of my ability, doing my job. All right. Well, you, you said that you're not quite where you want to be. So now with the off season approaching, yeah. what are some things that you want to get better at things that you know that you, you're going to start working on once the season's over for you? Um, just consistency and f- footwork, um, hand placement, um, Definitely uh, always do judgment drills with the ball. And um, just understanding football better. I think uh, the longer you play this game, the more you learn. Uh, I don't think you can ever stop learning in this game because it's evolving. You know, it's different from back in the 90s and the 80s 
where you had powerhouse, wishbone, run game. Now you got RPO, pass game, run game mix. You got quarterbacks like Deshaun, Lamar. Got you know what I'm saying. So you got receivers, you know, such as uh, Green and Hill and uh, Keenan Allen. You got guys like that who you know change it, changing the per- perception of the game. Um, it's become a faster game. So uh, I'm just gonna try to perfect my technique. Um, try to get some. Get get with some of the guys like Steph Gilmore and work on my technique and uh, just get better. You think you'll go back east? Yeah, I normally go, go back uh, east and uh, get with some. And of how about your masters guys. in theology? Is is you you pick up where you left off? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm gonna uh, do some do some speeches, uh, go to some churches and do my thing. So uh, it's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be fun. All right, we're looking forward to it. Uh, congrats on, on a great season for Thank you personally you. and uh, best of luck here in this final game and in the offseason, Keon. Thank you. I appreciate you.